Hello, my name is, is a social media campaign that I launched um, last year after my experiences as a patient um, in hospital with a post-operative infection. And I noticed during that time that many staff from all the professions and all the support staff forgot to introduce themselves to me when they were delivering my care or interacting with me. So this was me. I'm 29 years old. I'm happily married to my husband, Chris. I've got a successful career as an elderly medicine registrar. We're just thinking about having a family. We're on holiday in California. An idyllic life, you'd think. But two days later, I was admitted to hospital in the States, acutely unwell. And the reason for my acute illness was that my kidneys had failed. And the reason for that was that my abdomen and my pelvis were full of tumours. Bang. Out of the blue, age 29, I had cancer. I have a very rare type of sarcoma. Um, it affects my abdomen and my pelvis. And because of that, I have stents that drain my kidneys um, because my ureters are blocked. And as part of that condition, the stents have to be um, replaced every so often. So in August last year, I had an operation to replace those stents. Um, which would, went very well, but unfortunately um, 36 hours after I got out of hospital I was readmitted with a serious post-operative infection. I've had a lot to do with healthcare in the past three years and I've reflected and observed that healthcare keenly during that time. Hello My Name Is was born out of a hospital experience I had the stents that drain my kidneys replaced last year in August. Uncomplicated, straightforward surgery. But 36 hours after my discharge, I was back in hospital with a high fever and a low blood pressure. And there, my experience um, of healthcare and people's interactions with, with me, I, I keenly observed. Um, and one of the, my main starkest observation really was that people weren't introducing themselves to me every time they did something to me. I went right through the healthcare professions, from doctors, nurses, healthcare assistants, housekeepers, everybody on the ward really. But when somebody did introduce themselves, it made such a difference to how I was feeling about myself. It made me feel more human again. As a doctor, it's the first thing you do when you approach a patient. Um, but then I started to reflect on my own practice and wondering if I had actually introduced myself to every single patient I've met um, or forgotten. And I think anybody who works in healthcare will have forgotten at some point. So I just wanted to use my experience as, as a catalyst to, to try and improve care. Um, and try and get healthcare professionals to think about um, the importance of introductions and aspire to, to do better. The response to the campaign has been phenomenal. Um, it's gone across the healthcare sectors, it's gone across the professions, um, it's the logos recognised at healthcare conferences. There's little clinical reminders in the workplace. People have used screen savers, they've put it on observation charts, and um, people have designed um, ward introduction boards with all the um, photos of the staff that work there. Um, there's, there's been selfie campaigns, it's been printed onto logo, on, the logo's been printed onto lanyards and badges, and, and all sorts of activities have been going on. People seem to have taken this campaign to heart. It's really struck a chord because it's something simple that we can all do, costs no money and takes hardly any time. But it really does improve the patient's experience. It relieves anxiety. It establishes human connections, therapeutic relationships, and that all important trust and rapport that we all aspire to achieve with our patients. I think the biggest surprise is that it really is such a tiny campaign and how it struck such a big chord with everyone in healthcare. Um, I can't believe that you know politicians write 
the top of health are listening to what I've got to say and um, people right at the top of the NHS know, know who I am and, and what I'm about. And that, that is surprising for a normal run-of-the-mill doctor who doesn't really particularly feel special about anything. And, and the, the powerful voice that I've developed as a result of being a patient is, is something that I'm quite proud of. I've just been doing a session with the um, students in, as part of healthcare in Wales and they are a very enthusiastic bunch of, of young people who are the future of our healthcare and I think if we get the simple things right for them now in their careers um, that's going to bode well for the future of healthcare really. Um, they need to recognise the importance of things like introductions, the importance of person-centred care and what that actually means now in their careers so that they take it forwards with them. My time is precious. Um, I have a very limited prognosis. I probably only have months to live, although it's difficult to determine that. Um, so I am very passionate about changing things now. So if I'm in invited to come and do something, then I'll come and do it. My key message to all the staff in NHS Wales is that Patients are people at the end of the day and we should treat everyone that we look after like a member of our own family or how we'd want to be looked after ourselves. If we meet somebody in the street then we introduce ourselves, we give them our name. So that should happen in healthcare as well. And I fully believe that if you do the simple things right then the more complicated things just follow, follow on naturally. Um, so get your introductions and first impressions right and and you'll be half the way to getting the rest of healthcare right.